Hi, Helen from Vivina. When we talk about BMS reprogramming, it seems always very mysterious for you guys. Well, in today's video, I will review the mysterious mask of our BMS reprogramming. How we did it? What software do we use? Which parameters do we change? We will demonstrate in our Leaf AZ0 car. Of course, I cannot do it. I will ask our professional software engineer to reprogram it now and demonstrate. The car has already been swapped to 50 kWh new battery, but now both the dashboard and if spy cannot get the correct data. Now we start the reprogramming. Plug in the genuine open port to the car. The dashboard now can only be as the 12 volt battery is connected without ignition. Connect the other end of the open port to the laptop. Use this EV Util software. Double click this software. Now we are inside the software. Install the driver in advance. Then select the car model. Click LBC. Then you can get all the details of the battery now, battery ID, SOH, etc. Now we will modify the software from 24 kilowatt hour to 50 kilowatt hour. The 50 kilowatt hour software has been written in advance. Now we click right to load the 50 kilowatt hour software. Wait for around 30 seconds. The dashboard now is garbled. Now it shows done. Click confirm. It reminds we need to reset. Click reset. Now remind us to turn off ignition for 2 to 3 minutes. Dashboard now shows completed new messages. Turn off ignition for 2 to 3 minutes. Plug out the open port. Turn on the ignition. The dashboard displays the new whole complete mileage now. SOC and the kilometers traveled are all not changed. Start the car now. Let's read the leaves by readings. Capacity has been changed to correct. Now we read the data with laptop again. Only the capacity is changed. All the other parameters remain unchanged. Okay, after you checked how our software engineers reprogram the BMS, you will find that we only modify the parameters related with the capacity. All the Nissan original safety policies remain unchanged. And Nissan did a great work on this, right? The voltage platform of Nissan Leaf remains unchanged and is fixed. It is 355 volts. The motor of Leaf is also unchanged and fixed. The peak power is 80 kilowatt. As you know, the power equals to voltage multiply current. Since the voltage and the power are all not changed, so the current remains unchanged. This will be related with another topic that we usually talk about. Since the current unchanged, so after we replace with big capacity cells, the heat generated is also less. The C rate is also much smaller. So you don't need to worry about the heat dissipation problem since the less heat is generated. Okay, now let's back to topic. Since Li Song did a great work on its BMS, so we believe that for any batteries that without the control of the original Nissan BMS is very dangerous. That's why we continue to use the original Nissan Leaf BMS and only change the parameters related with the mileages. 
although we may have the ability to change other parameters as well, but we don't do that. The safety always comes the first. All right. Hope this video will help you know better about our BMS reprogramming. Stay tuned, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.